With good news for Ford employees, Jeff Flock is live at the Detroit Auto Show with details from his interview with the CEO of Ford. Jeff, good morning to you. Maria, good morning to you. We are just getting a 10-minute warning now here at the Ford location. This is the uh, auto show Ford stand where they're just about to show the new Ford Explorer. You know, they invented that segment, pretty much the SUV segment, and they're going to reinvent it again, as perhaps you see. The headlines from the interview with Jim Hackett, uh, the CEO of Ford, and I want to make sure I got them all right. Number one. He says to us on Fox Business, outside investors will soon be announced at Ford for the uh, AV and the electrification efforts. By the way, coming back live here, that's Jim Farley. You never know who you're going to run into. That's Jim Farley, president of Ford Global. Uh, other headline from Jim Hackett, uh, there will probably be an alliance with VW to be announced shortly. But to me, the big headline of the show from Jim Hackett, he said, unlike General Motors, even though they're doing cuts in Europe, Ford will not eliminate any manufacturing jobs here in the U.S. Take a listen. If you eliminate jobs here in the U.S., whether they're wearing white collars or blue collars or no collars, um, are you worried that you could push back on that? Well, I'm, I'm confirming that there's not blue collar uh, cuts in the offing. And our president is really, you know, taking a strong position and wanting to protect manufacturing jobs. And you can see the uh, sincerity in that in his policies. And so Ford is probably a poster child the other way. Our people have employment that isn't threatened. Uh, in addition, a competition for that Explorer from the likes of Cadillac. Take a look at these pictures, Maria. This is the XT6. If you like the Escalade, but it's just a little too big for you, well, Cadillac has this one. A little smaller than the Escalade, but all of the bells and whistles as well. They think it's going to be a big seller. In addition, Mary Barra, at the unveiling of that uh, XT6 last night said electrification is the future for Cadillac and in fact in addition she said electrification may make Cadillac Cadillac again to quote her uh, they also unveiled what could be the very first electric Cadillac we've got pictures of that no actual vehicle but pictures uh, and that goes to what some people say is a great vision from GM, something that Ford has been criticized, perhaps not having as much of a vision uh, going forward for what the future holds. I talked to Jim Hackett about that and asked him point blank, have you got a vision? Is this a fair criticism? The answer. It's my uh, history to take some time, not too much time, to be very thoughtful about a very powerful way that Ford's going to win. We are through that phase. Through that phase, that means they're ready to start making news. And Jim Farley's a man to make news. How are you, How you doing? doing, sir? Happy Good to New see Year. you. Happy New Year to you. Big news here today. Can you break any news for us right here on the air? Well, you have to wait, but yeah, we have uh, some great new versions of Explorer we're going to show. We've never had these, so they'll be brand new. We're going to see. We're going to show a police car. That's cool. And uh, we have the most powerful Ford ever, ever. The most powerful for like 700 plus horsepower yeah something like that you don't it comes like out of the ceiling it comes out of the ceiling oh right look there. at that yep. take a look hey larry can you see that up there there's a car in that yes there is holy crow yeah okay it's called an auto show <laughs> and that's why we talked to jim farley i'll there tell you go. he's a full of excitement maria that's the latest we'll be back good stuff jeff thanks so much jeff flock is at the detroit auto show this morning